everyone, so today I thought I would talk hair and run you through a little tutorial of how I've been doing this wavy look recently because it's very easy, it's very quick to do, it involves very little product and although it's a little bit more maintenance than I'm used to doing, I'm used to just blow drying my hair kind of puffing up and walking out the door, it does look a bit nicer in my view and it actually looks better on the second day, you can sleep with this and in the next morning it just has like a cool kind of wave to your hair and I personally like it even better on the second day which is great news. I think it looks a bit Mary Kate and Ashley circa 2003 when they had that really cool like wavy boho look going on and that's what I was trying to go for because I just I always love that look. My inner teenager inside still wants to be Mary Kate and Ashley in two of a kind. <laughs> but it's going to look good on most hair lengths if you've got it attached all to the mine or longer it's going to look great and all you need is a pair of straighteners. Weird but true, no curler, no crimper, no wave it involved, just a pair of straighteners. Which bizarrely are the only hair tool that I own. I have hair straighteners, I have a hair dryer, and that is it. I feel like I can do any look that I want to with hair straighteners. And so this is going to show you kind of how to curl and get that wave in your hair with straighteners. But there is something that I'm doing a little differently to what I was doing before that I think gives it a bit more of a relaxed, like casual look. So the first step is to wash your hair. Now this is what I'm working with here. Very greasy, workouty, bedhead hair. It is not a good look. So the first thing that I do is shampoo my hair. Now I'm currently using the Bumble and Bumble Surf Shampoo, but before that I was using the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo, which is my ultimate, ultimate favourite. And when I came to film this video, I was like, damn, I'm out of Sunday Shampoo. That is what I would want to show you, because that is my favourite. However, the Surf one is all I've got right now, and it's very similar, but it's kind of a little bit less clarifying. So those are the two that I like, so I just kind of lather that up willy-nilly, get in there, get a bit of a lather going, rinse it out, pop my hair up into a towel and I just kind of leave it like that for about 10 minutes and that just gets the worst of the damp kind of out and on the towel so there's not as much time that you need to dry your hair. When I let it down I go a bit crazy with the wet brush which is just the best darn thing for wet hair. I thought that nothing could surpass my love for the What's it called? Tangle Teaser. The Tangle Teaser, that's it. I used that for about two years and I was like, no, the Tangle Teaser is the best thing. Now I've used this wet brush, I'm like, okay, fine. The wet brush <laughs> is better. I actually love it so much, I've bought a mini one that I travel with because I just think it is that great. It's just great for brushing through wet hair. You don't get any kind of knots or tangles. It's not painful at all and it does it very quickly. I reckon quicker than the Tangle Teaser. So if you haven't tried this out, get it, it's incredible. <laughs> then I find my parting with a comb, nothing special, this is just a cheap little comb from Boots, and today I've gone for more of a side parting, I always like a side parting. Don't you find when you do it on the other side to what you normally do, you look like your evil twin, or something weird like that, it always looks very strange. <laughs> then before I blow dry, I do use a product in it, and I've spoken about this a few times before, it's Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, 5-in-1 styling treatment, currently not available in the UK, I don't think, but it'll be coming here very soon, and I think you can order it from Sephora. It is amazing. It's a five in one. It's supposed to smooth, volumize, condition, strengthen, and polish. And I truly do feel like it does all those things. It's one of those does it all, you don't really have to use any other product in it. My hair feels a bit smoother, looks a bit more volumized, lasts a bit longer, and looks nice and shiny as well, but without looking greasy. I take a very, very, very small amount of this. You don't need a lot. On to the palms of my hand, rub it together, and then I move it more through the lengths of my hair. I just distribute it evenly through the lengths, making sure that it's got everywhere, and then I blow dry. And for that, I use this. It's my Babyliss. It's the Boutique Dryer, and I've used it so much that the model number has rubbed off the back of it, but I will link it up below. And this, although it is quite pricey, it is seriously insane in the power department. This dries my hair so quickly. Whenever I stay in a hotel or I stay around my parents and I use someone else's hair dryer, I'm like, wow, this takes a long time. This is like small and mighty and seriously, seriously powerful. And I don't blow dry it in any special way. I just kind of go around roughly sort of finger combing my hair almost and just blow drying it and that takes around five-ish minutes. After blow drying, I run through with the wet brush again. I just feel that when I'm waving my hair or curling my hair or straightening my hair, it's easier to do when my hair is not free, tangle-free, and very smooth and easy to pull through the straighteners. So I just do that one final time, make sure it's all ready to go. Then I start sectioning my hair off. Now you might have seen me do this in hair videos before. There's no real method in this. I'm just sectioning it up in the easiest way that I find. So I'm taking all my hair on top of my head and just kind of going 
going around my ears almost and just letting down at that bottom layer. Further splitting it up just to help me that little bit more because my hair on the final like bottom layer is still quite short. There's not really a lot of hair and there's not really a lot of space to work there when it comes to waving. I like to just split that a little bit further and make it easier. And it's gonna be a bit tough to see at this point what method I'm using, but it's almost like I'm twisting the hair round. It might look a bit weird and it does take a bit of practice. I've just been doing my hair like this and curling my hair like this for years. So for me, I'm like da, 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 just doing it without even really thinking about it. But it's Sunday. Why not just like sit in front of your mirror, try and get that method down because once you can curl with hair straighteners, you won't really ever look at hair curlers ever again. So when that final layer is done, I just pop that into a hair band on the back of my head and then I just go through and I repeat the process and hopefully here you'll be able to see a a little bit clearer that like weird knack I'm doing with my hand. It is a bit of a knack. But trust me, once you've got it down, it's very easy to do. So I'm just repeating that step all the way around my hair. Now the trick that I mentioned earlier, and I never used to do this, I used to curl all the way to the bottom of my hair. So I used to curl the ends round and that created a really kind of full, voluminous, curly look. But to get this wavy look, I leave the ends out. So I curl my hair and then I leave about a centimeter or two out of the end and I don't touch that. I don't go near that and that leaves the look a bit more relaxed and makes you have more of a wave than a curl. It's not the most groundbreaking tip ever but it just changes from what would be a curl into more of a wave and I really like the finish of it. So I'm just going through and tying up the sections at the back as they're done to kind of get them out of the way and when I get to the top I do a bit of a weird thing because I've got it on a side part so I sort of do the sides of my hair and then do the top of my hair last and you can see I'm alternating the direction so sometimes I'm curling away from the face, sometimes I'm curling into the face and that just gives a bit more of a random appearance to the end result. I feel like I've just rambled on there and not made much sense but hopefully the cutaways going over my rambling will help to explain it a little bit more and like I said practice makes perfect with this method. So once you're done you could just leave it there. If you've got hair that holds a curl really well then leave it, step away from the product and, and go. You're ready to go, you're good to go. However for me my hair doesn't hold a curl that well so I like to use something extra in it and I like the Living Proof Flex Shaping Hairspray. I've mentioned this before, I think in my December 2013 favourites. I don't know why that sticks in my head, but it does. This is a great hairspray. It doesn't leave your hair crispy at all. It smells incredible. It doesn't have that weird like, you know, when you get hairspray in the back of your throat kind of smell. It doesn't have that. And it holds without feeling crispy or crunchy. Or sometimes I like to mix it up a bit and if I feel like it's a bit lacking in the thickness department and the volume department I will shun the hairspray and I will go down the volumizing spray route and I love the Obey dry texturizing spray of course I'm really excited because when I picked this up I realized it was a new bottle and it's heavy my bottles never feel heavy at this because I go through them so quickly but this is just a volumizing spray that really oomphs up the hair and also gives it a bit of hold and a bit of grit as well and you're going to get that kind of second day texture in first day hair with this stuff. I thought while we're also talking about hair I would talk about the dry shampoo that I like. It's from Collab and it's their dry shampoo in the shade, shade? <laughs> scent. I was going to say flavour then, not flavour, scent. Rio. It smells in Incredible. It's like pineapple-y, pina colada-y, coconut-y goodness. And once you give this a good shake, you need to give it a good shake, you won't end up with that white kind of mask effect to your hair. It doesn't go grey, you just have to give it a good shake before and it just refreshes the hair. But also you can't feel it in your hair. You know sometimes with dry shampoos you can kind of go like that and you're like, oh, I need to wash my hands. You don't get that feeling with this. It's very invisible, very light. So that concludes my wavy hair with straightness tutorial slash ramble. Apologies if things were a bit rambly, but it's a bit of a tough one to explain, hence why you need the demo. I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.